Today we're on board the Sweden Yacht 42 Tiger Lily. This particular example, she's hull number 45 from 2007, so one of the last 42s built. New canvas work cockpit enclosure and bimini. We sold the yacht to the current owner back in 2016, and although the yacht was in bristlingly good order then, the brief from the owner at that point was to zero the clock on the boat. He wanted to head off to the Med with as near as he could get to a, a new Sweden 42. So with that in mind, the boat went into our big blue sheds. So Selden rig, new canvas work, and new sails to match a suite of Sanders Hydronet cruising laminates, both on Main and Genoa. electric furling there on the headsail, as you can see, and that's controlled from the pedestal. Nice little stubby bias bit there as well, which houses both the anchor and useful for the asymmetric. This particular example running on conventional fairlead tracks and not the self-tacker. Moving aft, new canvas work throughout, so spray hood, cockpit enclosure, and bimini as the yacht was specced to, to head off down to the Mediterranean. On the aft deck as well, which you can't see there at the moment on the transom, the new davits. So two banks of jammers. One of the unique points of the Sweden 42 is just this sheer ease of handling. Two banks of jammers coming back to two electric winches. New USB port on the side of the pedestal there. New I-series sailing instrumentation. Hybrid touch plotter and bow thruster, all new in 2016, and just the controls there also for the uh, Genoa. Socket for the cockpit VHF. One of the outstanding features of the 42 is the cavernous storage, both port and starboard aft of the cockpit. A big long cockpit with plenty of accommodation. Ease of handling is the order of the day here with two banks of jammers, both port and starboard, all lines led aft. And of course, then you've got new electric winches either side. So there's really very little that can be done from the cockpit. New stereo speakers. And a new bank of I-70 sailing instrumentation there. Stepping below, the interior cabinetry on the Sweden is a particular strong point. It's a fairly timeless, but very classic interior. I'll ship galley to starboard, twin sinks, little stainless stove, lots of storage, and some nifty little slide out breadboard there as well that fits over the galley. microwave and fitted fans throughout the yacht. You'll see these throughout the video. Uh, these were fitted brand new for the med. And a good sized fridge freezer there. So fixed table to port and uh, saloon seating. Storage behind seating and above there, as you can see in the cupboards, and then open shelving for books. All the port lights there are fitted with drop-down ocean air blinds as well. and a new television, new flat screen fitted as part of the refit.
I'm looking aft to port and starboard aft cabins. And a very well stocked nav station. So there's a distribution panel there. And a couple of sockets and a nice little double USB in there as well, which is quite handy. New stereo, new series Raymarine VHF, i70 instrumentation. Ecomax active radar reflector there and the new plotter. carbon monoxide alarm there and there's also a gas alarm in the bilge all of which has been recently fitted so absolutely nothing to add heading aft starboard aft cabin now the boat is in commission so excuse the cushions etc little infill there so it will run as a double or two singles uh, new cockpits cushions hiding the aft end of the berth there hanging stowage companionway steps which are nice and shallow actually it's it's not a steep companionway at all port side cabin which as you can see is nice, nice and clear new, another new fan the upholstery is in fairly spotless condition as well aft heads so again, freshened up, some new mirrors, some new faucets. Let's put a Corian, GRP molding, some mahogany trim. Uh, very fresh, clean and bright. Moving forward. And brass clock and barometer. The owner's cabin now is a particularly nice feature on an aft cockpit boat. We have a good sized offset double. Oodles of storage to starboard with drawers and hanging storage. And again, it's some additional storage below the berth and above the berth here, as you can see, the three cupboards there. There's a couple of fairly large drawers below the berth as well. Forward to the very smart owner's ensuite. Enough trim to make it very, you know, quite tasteful, but equally largely GRP, so easy to clean down. That forward bulkhead, by the way, there is a foredeck locker, the full depth of that bulkhead, which is accessed on the deck. Looking aft into the owner's cabin. So really, there we have it, the 2007 Sweden 42 Tiger Lily, currently afloat, here at our offices in Leamington.